this video for the English exam review final term this is the worksheet review worksheet now in this one I have the topics that are covered this is in the unit 4 reading writing workshop <laughs> you have to read the story a tale of a tale so you can practice uh, how to read long a sounds also a team of fish it focuses on the skill long e <coughs> go wild focuses on long i and creep low flow fly high also focuses on long i okay uh, so uh, these these topics are just for reading just practice your reading skills in the practice book you have here uh, eight pages on these eight pages you have four phonics pages related to each uh, each phonics skill and you have four pages for the high frequency words feel free to uh, solve any other page grammar we have a grammar these are the pages for the grammar we have 10 pages for the grammar and the last one is for the writing <clears throat> Students will be asked to write a few sentences about the topic. Now, this topic is covered already in Unit 4. Mainly, it's about animals. Uh, how is it going to be uh, tested? The students should provide the title for the topic, answer the questions to add more ideas. The questions will be available, and he will be asked to provide an ending by describing his or her feeling at the end. Yeah, start reading. Okay, everyone listen please to Lena while reading. Go ahead, start. Yeah. Gus the grasshopper. This is Gus the grasshopper. Gus wants to have a big lunch. Today he is seeking just the right place. Gus sees lots of ants. Hello ants. Calls Gus. What are you eating? And and the ant replies, a red grape, it's, it, it's sweet. Gus listens, but Gus does not like grapes. He likes to eat grass. Start. Joel, start reading paragraph two. Gus tries to find a new place he says he sees a bunch of pals they are eating this um, might be a a fine place to Dine Sing Gus Okay, yeah, let's start he, he jumps On A branch You landed On my back The Branch Yells, Gus had jumped on stand the stick, but Gus had not seen him. Bravo, Rawat. Now it's Mahdi's turn. Can you continue, Mahdi? Excuse me. Stan replies, Gus. There are too many insects here. Gus hops off. Bravo, Mahdi. Thank you. Lama's turn. Yalla, Lama. Wait, we will move to the... Yalla, Lama. Gus hops out. Hops. He leaps high and flies. A big ranch. It has long eye. Miles of 
green and grass. Bravo. Thank you, Lynn. Okay. Yalla. Rida, are you ready? Yalla, read. No. Nose. This is a... Can you read loudly? The... the right place. Bravo. Thank you, Rida. Yalla. Ali Burji, are you ready to continue? Yeah. He jumps past a spotted cow. Uh, cow. Cow. Hello. Says, says, come the cow. I see you like. Get us to Bravo, amazing. Thank you. Moving on to this to the second question. Circle the correct answer below based on the story. Now let me have uh, Amir come to the board please. Amir read the first number one, number one. The read read first the sentence. Who? The question. Who? Who wants to find a new place to eat? Bravo. Who wants to find a new place to eat? Is it A? Read it. Or the aunt. Al, the aunt. Or B? The stick bag. Or C? The ghost. The grasshopper. Okay, then what is the right answer? Just the grasshopper. Bravo. What, can you please use the pen and circle the right answer? So, gas the grasshopper is the right answer. Thank you, Amir. Bravo. Let me have Ibrahim come to the board. Ibrahim, read number two. Question number two. Who likes? Sweet grapes. Excellent. Who likes sweet grapes? Is it A? Al, the aunt. Or B? Cam, the cow. Or C? I like because the What is the right answer? Al, the aunt. Excellent. Can you circle it? Yes. Bravo, Brahim. Brilliant. Who's, who's going to do number three? Let me have Mia come to the board. Mia, can you read question number three? Loudly, please. Does this that? Is it A? Too, too many insects are on the branch. Or is it B? The branch is filled with grave. Or C? So what does this thing? Which one? Who would like to help me? Yes, Ali Burji. Yes, Ali. It's A. A. Gus thinks that too many insects are on the branch. Thank you, Ali Burji. That's correct. Can you please circle it, Mia? Bravo. Excellent. Thank you. Moving on to question number four. Question number four. Can you read it, Salma? Yes. Read the question first, please. How is how does God feel at the ranch? Use a clue from the story. Bravo. What is the answer? God, God feels good about the ranch. It has miles of the green grass. Excellent. Can you please write it? Okay. Yeah. Just one second. 
Okay, thank you, Salma. So I'm going to copy the answer. I'm going to copy the answer on the lines here. Gus feels good about the ranch it has miles of green grass excellent okay we have here the high frequency words in each of the lessons you will find a page that has all these high frequency words please take some time to read them and try practice using them in sentences orally i'm going to read them now um, a quick reading about animal carry ate give our into blue or small other because find food more over start worm coat blue no laugh listen and work okay now moving to the second part which is the high frequency words uh number number one or oh, i choose the best answer who would like to do number one okay let me have come then can you read please okay, louder here is a sentence from the story. Bravo. Here is just for the right place. Okay. What do they want us to do? Sure. What does? What does the word CK mean? What does it mean? Is it A? Yeah, or B? Yeah, or C? Looking for. What is the right answer? Looking for. Bravo. Yes, it's C looking for. Thank you, Ren. Okay, now moving on to number two. Who would like to come? Okay, I have hands uh, raised up. Let me have Yala Muhammad Jafar. Read first the question. Read these. Louder. Yes. They are eating this might might we be a fine place to die. Bravo. Could you please read louder, huh? Yeah, what do they want us to do? Which? Which words help you understand the meaning yes. of dine? Okay, which word helps you understand the meaning of dine? Is it A or? Okay, you gave me the answer. Let's just read the other options. Or B might or C things so the right answer is a eating thank you Muhammad okay now moving on to question number three who would like to come and do it let me have uh, Jude come please it's okay everyone will get a turn don't worry yalla Jude can you please read number three Yalla Jude. Bravo. Gus blank to the ants. Is it A? Where? Were or B? Listen. Or C? Which one is the right answer? 
listens bravo so this is b listens you cannot reach yeah i'm coming okay thank you jude bravo you forgot the s listens with the s okay now moving on to number four who would like to do number four raise your hand please yalla muhammad ali come to the board read first the the, the question please louder yes bravo so what is the right answer is it a read read a what's what's an a what's option number a can you read the word no. laugh or b no. nose or c flu no. which one is the right answer no. nose broth Okay, now moving on to the C, section C, phonics. Choose the word that names the picture. Who would like to come and do it? Okay, let me have Noor. Come, Noor. Noor, you will do number one and two. And Yara, you can come and do number three and four, okay? Yeah. So first, look at the picture. Do you know what is this picture? What is it? It's the light. Okay, can you reach it? No, you cannot. Wait, let me help you. Okay, Yelanur, give us the right answer. Is it A, late or B? Read it. Light or C? Lit. Which one is the right answer? That's B. Okay, now look at picture number two. Okay, that's number three. Can you read them first, please? This is a picture of paint. Can you read the words? What is A? Peel. Peel. B? Paint. Hey. And C? Paint. Paint. And the right answer is C for paint. Thank you, Noor. Yalla, Yara. Okay, Yara, you will do number two and four. What is number two? Can you read the words? Yes, can you read the words? What is number A? This is long A. Stay. B. Skip. Skip. And C. Read it. Sky. Thank you, Yara. Number four. Can you read the words? Please. Yes. Bay and buy. And what is the right answer? B. B. Thank you, Yara. Okay. Okay, now moving on to fill in the missing letter. We're still in the phonics section. Fill in the missing letter. Use the words in the box. Who would like to come to board? Okay, come ala. Yalla mushtaba, yalla. You'll get, you'll get the chance to come to board. So, uh, ala, just do number one, please. So, we have the words move, cube, mail, play, look, and nice. Which one fit in number one? It's okay, don't cross it, don't cross it. Just write it down. What is the word? Cube. Thank you. Okay, number two. Thank you, Allah. Come, Dida. So I'm going to cross cube here. Yella, Dida, number two. Which word goes in number two? Can you read it, please? 
male male with long a <coughs> Okay. Yes, thank you. Number three. Number three, come, uh, Sila. Miss, I want to do number three. I want to do number three. Which word? Which word fits in number three? Nice. Nice. Yes, thank you. Write it. Bravo. Okay. Number four, Josephine, come to the board. Number four, which words? Can you please read it? Look. Yeah, write it. Thank you, Josephine. Okay, we're still doing fill in the missing letter. And we have two more words, move and play. Who would like to come to the board? Yala, Mushtaba, can you do number five? Which word goes in number five? Yes, can you read it, please? Play. Excellent. Thank you, Mushtaba. Yala, Fadul, come and do number six. Which word goes in number six? Can you read it, please? Move. Thank you, Father. Okay, moving on to section D, grammar. I have Ali Safiya, Ali Nasruddin, sorry, on the board. Yalla, Ali, can you please read for us? Fits in each sentence. Bravo. Yell. Go or goes to the pond. So the right answer is go. Thank you. Okay, now moving on to Bayan. I have Bayan on board. Can you please read the second sentence loudly? Lots of animals. Bravo. So what is the right answer? Has or have? Has. Has. Excellent. Thank you, Bayan. Okay, now Rafi, you will continue with the third sentence. Please read the sentence starting from yesterday. Yesterday we went. What, what options do you have? Go or went. Yes, continue with. Yesterday, we went with. With who? My mom. My mom. Okay, circle the answer went. Thank you, Rafi. Okay, now moving on. Come, uh, Jad. Jad will read. The fourth or third sentence. Can you please read? Some turtles was or were sleeping on logs. What is the right answer? Was. Some turtles. Were. Were. This is in plural. Thank you, Jad. Okay. Let me have uh, Talia. Come, Talia. Yeah, Natalia, read the sentence. We see or saw fish in the water. Bro, what, what is the right answer? Is it sees? So. so, excellent. Yeah, let's circle the right answer, please. Okay, bravo. Now, the last sentence is, Jack and I want to go back yesterday or soon. Let me have uh, Alice of Dean come. You already come with Salma. Yeah. Salma. Miss. Yalla Ali. 
So Jack and I want to go back yesterday or soon. What is the right answer? Soon. Soon. Thank you, Ali. Okay, so moving on to number two, circle the, the adverbs that tell when in each sentence. I have Nancy, and Nancy will solve the first one. She will circle the first one. Can you read the sentence, number one? Now they go outside. Okay, so which one is the adverb? In order to know the adverb, you can ask yourself this question. When? When will they go outside? What is the answer? Can you read it? Yeah. Now. Now they go outside. Okay, let's do number two as well, Nancy. Can you read the sentence, please? I will go. I will? I will do my work later. Bravo. So, and here you ask yourself again the same question. When will I do my work? And the answer is later. Thank you, Nancy. Bravo. Okay, let me have Bella. Bella, come to the board. Can you read sentence number three, Bella? First, you mix in the eggs. Excellent. So, when do you mix in the eggs? When. When? The answer is? When? It's about the time. Yes, Bella? Where's the answer? First. Yes. First. Bravo. Circle it. Okay, number four. Can you read sentence number four? Finished. Finished the race. Last. Bravo. So when did we finish the race? Last. Last. Bravo. Thank you, Bella. Excellent. Last section is the writing. In the writing, you will be asked to write a story. In this worksheet, it's about an elephant you saw at the zoo. And then answer these questions to help you get started. There are a number of questions that will help you find answers and find information about the topic. For example, number, number one is asking about the time. When did you go to the zoo? When you write a topic, you have to make sure you provide the time, the place, and the characters. Questions number one and number two, they provide all these information. When did you go to the zoo? Whom did you go with to the zoo? So I have the time, which is when, the place is the zoo, and the characters you choose. It could be uh, you and your family. It could be between you and your friends. You have, you can choose whoever you want. Question number three, this will give us more details describing words about the place that you have visited. What animals did you see? You can give me a list of animals. You can write a list of animals uh, that you might see in the zoo. For example, we have, I don't know, we have lions, we have um, tigers, we have um, rabbits. My students in the class are helping me. Thank you. We have monkeys and flamingos. Etc. Etc. Question number four. What was the elephant doing? Now, finally, you say, and finally, you saw an elephant. Now, what was the elephant doing? You have options. It. You can say he was, or it was sleeping, or eating, or playing. Maybe splashing water. So you you choose how how you uh, imagine the elephant. Number five. Where do elephants live? Now, in this number five, we move on to, to provide more information about elephants. If you know 
if you have some information about elephants like where do they live um, what do they do in the where they live like they live in the forest what do they do in the forest uh, what do they do with their trunks for example and the last question is what is a baby elephant called that's it for the writing you can provide your answers your answer in the lines are provided here there is no one right uh, answer answers may vary and you will be graded for the the uh, the ideas that you provide you will get the highest marks for the ideas that you provide also if you put the title you will get about 0.5 marks if you leave a space or indent and in the when you start the paragraph this will also give you marks if you have minimum spelling mistakes like all your words are correctly spelled this will also give you marks and um, also neatness make sure you write in a good handwriting so you can get more marks that's it and this is the final slide thank you for your hard work and hope you do well in the exam